Well, obviously, we all need to know how to wrap, wrap gift boxes. One of the most important things, especially in a florist or any gift trade, is how can we make some extra money in the shop on gift wrapping. I've just taken a very basic box here and I'm first of all going to, I'm going to use here my, my um, own cellophane that's got my corporate image and I'm just going to roughly measure how much I actually need to take off the design. So I'm going to take this amount and then I need to work out exactly how much I actually need on the pink. So same amount approximately that I can take. This way I can then use my corporate image but I can change the colour. So I can have it with pink underneath or orange or aubergine, many different colours. And then I can then place the tint over the top. This will then really show off my corporate image right across. So it's showing the design element uh, with flowers and passion and style. And it really sort of creates impact to the design. One of the biggest things is that I want to make sure that the design element falls on one section of the cellophane. And I'm just going to cut off a small edge here. But I'm not going to throw this cellophane away. I'm going to keep this so it's always got a use. So I'm just going to trim through that section. And I'm just going to take another little sliver of the pink off here so it all becomes the same. And I'm just going to keep these sections. And you're going to wonder why in a minute, but it's always worth knowing that this will help. Now I'm just going to look at where my image will fall on the box. So I know that if I've got it at that position, and I can still then just make sure that I've got a little bit that I take off the bottom here. And again, with those little extra sections that I've just got floating around, I'm going to just trim, take away, keep hold of those, and bob them to one side. So I've never got any wastage. I first of all start to fold and catch on one side of the box just to hold in place. This now gives me that nice black section and then I can fold around the container and this now shows my image. So when we come to actually fasten the bottom of the box, we just take a small piece of tape and then we make it like a little envelope. So we fold in one edge and catch and then take in from the other side and catch and then fold up and we would just gently fold that end in it gives it a neater finish and just catch either side and then we do exactly the same now here I've just found that it's just a little bit wider so I'm just going to just trim this section away and now we can then do the same again so we catch in at the base make that envelope Fasten in and then fold in the base and catch. And so that now gives you a fabulous box. It's got your corporate image straight across the middle. As you can see here, I've got um, the selection of pieces that were leftovers. And rather than throw them away, I'm just going to cut into sections. So first of all I just take them 
in these sections. So that just gives me a little bit of a, a collection of papers. And now, just taking them in the fingers, I'm just going to scrunch and actually just catch them in the fingers like so. So you keep on adding each section. As you can see, I am reversing some so that some of the light goes, the clearer ones go one side and the darker go to the opposite. And this is just one way of utilising anything that you have actually got as oddments rather than throwing them away. And it just takes minutes to do. Just adding again some of the parts that still have the um, corporate image or the parts of the design element on there. So now we've got a collection in the hand. You take a ribbon, you fold tightly in half. Be quite forceful with it, don't be scared. And then knot your ribbon. And this then creates, without throwing any waste away, a great fluffy bow. And you're just using everything that you had around. And it really just creates that real nice dynamic look for your design. So now we've got the box covered. We've now made the bow. I'm just going to take off these tails. And where I've got a couple of sections underneath, this will allow me just to place a small amount of sellotape, which will allow me to hold in place. And then we can open the other end and fasten. And there you've got a great gift just by using your cellophanes and using things that you possibly would have thrown in the bin and actually making profit from it. You know, you always charge for everything that you're doing here and the customers are going to love it.